Hello, this is fine and easy. I'm back. Also, wait. Shoot, the mic got tinged. Alright, I'm back. So... Today's stream, we're just gonna do the core battles and do the story really in Ellie. And after that, I'm gonna do the blood form sword a little bit. And then, if I have enough time, I'll just fight the nightmare with all three teams. And then that's what I'll call off stream. So today's stream is just going to be a, a bit on the short side. I don't think I want to stream longer as usual. It's going to be a bit of a short one. So that's all I have to say. So that's all. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, not bye-bye. I mean, let's get to the game. I don't know why I just said bye-bye. I, I think I'm losing it. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Core battles, let's go. And then after that, I'll try to unlock the shortcuts for each of the characters. So that we don't have to like go through such a long progress just to get up to the next floors and such. And then once that happens, I'll like unlock some classes, unlock some skills, and then do the early story. And when we finish that one, I'm gonna do blood farms, and maybe I'll tackle the nightmare. But like, yeah, that's all I have to say. Now, let's go. Jack, <laughs> やっぱりただでは破壊させてはくれないよね。面倒くせえ。みんな気をつけて。よし、行くぞ。行くぜ。行くぜ。
私の番ねそこ頑張るわ行けてどうかしら出番だね力をどうぞよし頑張る終わりにするあ、ヘイ、ウィド、ハーユー。We're finding the core guardians right now.、Uh, it is good. Ah,、uh, the damage, I love it. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't want that. <laughs> Oh, oh well. Stuff. Everyone has buffed up magic defense. Let's see.、Um, no charge. Let's just use this. Hey, good job, Alice. Oh, um, well, if I. If I. Wait. Hold on. Well. If I say I'm alright, I'll sound like Cinderella trying to convince Dummy that blank because of Mary's got their two stuff. Yeah! No, I can't believe. Um, well, I wouldn't say believe, but I can't see. <laughs> Wait, not see. Shit, what I'm trying to say. Wait, I. My brain's kind of mushy right now. Hold on. Oh, I can't wait to see you play Mary Sculptor 2. Like, I, I, I'm a, I think you already played the first game to completion and everything, so, like, that's gonna, that's like, that's completely fine. Fine and such. And everything. But yeah, I can't wait for you to try out Mary Sculptor 2. <laughs> I don't remember if you played it already before, and you beat it and everything. I don't, I don't remember. To be honest. But, like, if it's your first time, then, like, yippee! <laughs> I think you might like to, because if I'm gonna be honest with you, 2 is really is a, like a, a big step up from the first game. The original first game, mind you. I'm not talking about the remake. The remake is like a whole different ballgame, but、um, it, is a, it is a step up. Like, it's, the, it's a good sequel. Like, it improves a lot of the things that the first game did good, and it made it better. And I do like the gameplay loop of the second game. Like, the gameplay of like. Too, is like really fun <laughs> and everything. Also, it's kind of broken. Like, Rudo, you saw me how I broke Mary Sculpture 2 in half. Like, you saw how easy it is to break that game in half just with the right combinations <laughs> and everything and whatnot. And I feel like because of all the new stuff that they added in 2, they actually made 2 really easy to the point where I honestly feel like when you compare all the Mary Sculpture games together, 2 is the easiest. Like, that game is like the easiest one out of the whole series. And whatnot. Of course, there are some people who are like, but it's not easy for me because I don't know what to do and whatnot. To which I'm like, well, yeah, it won't be easy for you if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> That's like the point of like when you go in blind, you don't know what to do. So, of course, the game will be, you know, slightly difficult and such. But like, once you get the hang of things and you just immediately understand that, oh, wait. This skill breaks everything in half. Everything just becomes a cakewalk. Like, I feel like the starting points 
of two i would say the first few chapters i would say they're fairly balanced like i didn't i don't think they were like too difficult nor they were too easy it was just like just the right amount of difficulty even on the hardest difficulty it was like the right amount and whatnot once you um reach chapter five if you ask me rudo that's where the game becomes extremely easy right that is where that's where um if you ask me is where things are like oh i'm literally one-shotting everything <laughs> and i just did the bare minimal requirements <laughs> And, whatnot. and then like you get to the blood farms and how that one also breaks everything in half because of the busted equipment you can get from it and everything but like yeah there's a lot of things about two little that's like wow i i can't believe they didn't really think this through clearly and like it's so easy to take advantage of like i know finale did try to like fix some of those issues Rudo. like they tried to balance it out but it's still broken though, like, I can literally still get busted equipment from the blood farms, it does make it slightly difficult. But you can still get it. <laughs> and whatnot, they're just like, oh, let's just draw in like, a wrench. And the wrench, and said wrench isn't that, like, big of a deal. <laughs> and whatnot, and also, what do you wrote down? Um, Nightmare's OG true ending, but that was less than a legal copy. Yippee, yep. <laughs> So you did play the first game to completion. That's good. That's good to know. Thank you, Rudo. I was like kind of wondering like, wait, did Rudo beat the first game already? I don't remember. <laughs> and whatnot. Thanks, Ideal Factory. Yep. <laughs> and whatnot. And there's like other like balancing parts of Finale that's like beneficial to the player, mind you, Rudo. Like some characters, especially the new ones, they are really like busted. Like. I can get into I can get into more of it, Rudo, but that's only when I will reach a certain point. I need I do need to unlock specific classes, and that's why I will go into more detail about like oh, this class is broken because of blah 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 <laughs> and whatnot. But like yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Um, since we beat the first core, that means we have to go fight the other cores with the other teams. And if you ask me which team is like currently the best right now, Rudo, it has to be Carla's team and also Ju. Jack's team is also good, but I feel like I didn't invest in this team a lot, so because of that, they're struggling a little bit, but everyone else, they're pretty great, especially Carla's team. I think it's because I did blood forms with them, and I've heard, and they essentially get like, you know, first dibs on the, <laughs> the broken equipment. So because of that, they are essentially like, oh hey, we have like, high stats. <laughs> And whatnot, but like, yeah, um, anyway, yeah, not doing well, petty drama stuff, oh, that sucks to hear, Rudo. That really, that really is sucks to hear. Well, I hope you will resolve that drama quickly, and I hope, like, you entering my stream might help you, like, I guess relax a bit, you know, take your mind out of it for a little bit and such. And whatnot, but like, yeah, um... I don't know what else to say, so <laughs> let's continue on. Alice, <laughs> TLDR Indonesia VTubers blocks with no reason given bans not saying more details unless they get asked. Alright. That sucks. Getting the like blocked and bans for no reasons. I feel like it's so common nowadays, Rudo. Especially when it comes to like social media and such, people just immediately ban people for no reason. Especially Reddit. Oh my god, Rudo. I feel like Reddit nowadays is just getting worse and worse. I know Reddit wasn't always the best place in the world, but like, I feel like nowadays people are just getting banned and like permanently like kicked out of Reddit because of like dumbass reasons. And they don't even like specify the reason too. They're just like, oh, I'm just doing it because I have all the power and shit. Like, 
Busted like Mary's ability as Rudo. The fact that she's like, oh, I just imagine something. Flicks a match at the core. It just immediately comes to like, you know, whatever comes to like whatever she imagined and shit. Like in this case, she literally makes a perfect replica of a pocket watch that she found somewhere. And whatnot. <laughs> it's like way. the shortcut hooray since we unlocked the shortcut I can just go back to home base oh um <laughs> wait I didn't I didn't doubt this was gonna happen Rudo so much story events I didn't even do much either. And I wanted to go back to the laboratory to unlock some jobs. Okay, fine. Fine game. I'll play your rules. Let's go talk to whoever's at the laboratory. Oh, uh, hey Miko.血液検査のこの数値だけ前回より上がってるけど、形式少年特有のブレの範囲内ね。うん、問題ないわね。すこぶる健康な体をしているわ。よかった。こんな場所でも検査してもらえるなんて、ミコさんが研究所の知識を身
You know, um, Charlotte's default outfit, right? You know, it has the huge amount of underboob in it and whatnot. So, in the prequel novel, we learned that Mary actually made that for Charlotte. That was literally something that Mary made. And the reasoning for it is hilarious. <laughs> And not only that, it's the way how Mary made it. <laughs> like, the method of how Mary made the outfit, and also the reason for her making that outfit is like, really funny. But I can't talk about it because that's like, pretty novel stuff. Haha. <laughs> そんな研究必要ってことも、あの人は行っていた。でもね、それをはっきりと聞く勇気はなかった。あの人に歯ブラかされるのが怖いんじゃなくて、火を暴いてしまうのが怖い。なぜなら、それを暴けば今までやってき
As much as I wanted to learn Stunt Burst and Hypno Burst, which are really good, we're gonna and also mim mimic because um Charlotte in the mimic class she will learn charge like um she will learn the charge skill pretty early in this game so like charge is good if you want to make Charlotte purely physical and such which is honestly what I recommend because physical Charlotte's way better than magical Charlotte and magical Charlotte has some uses to it like I think the best class for a magical Charlotte is um. Nope, I did not mean to do that. I don't know, I accidentally wasted that. I think the best class for Magic Charlotte has to be... Um, I don't think it was this one. It was... It was Scientist. So Scientist is good for Magic Charlotte, but... Physical Charlotte's better. And the class we're going to make Charlotte go into is this one right here. The Vis... Vistral? V vis... Chuso? Vistro? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I know how to English. <laughs> I just need a I just need a reminder, okay? Virtual so like like virtual virtual so it's such a huh huh that's such an interesting word I know that's like an actual word and it means like it's a music type word I know that for sure um but huh. That's really interesting. I do know that her Japanese name, the Japanese name for this class is different. Let me go look it up real quick, Rudo. And also, what do you write down? Funny enough, I decided to have Snow White IP mimic for a whooping total of at least five minutes. Oh, yes. The mimic class is Snow White. I love it. Like, I unironically like it. <laughs> Even though I understand, like, oh, but TS though and whatnot, I'm like, bruh, bruh, it's a cute hoodie. Who doesn't like a cute hoodie? <laughs> like, we can just ignore the bottom part. We're just gonna focus on the top. Let's focus on the cute hoodie. <laughs> but, like, yeah, let me go look up uh, what the name of that class was, real quick, Rudo. What was it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, it's weird. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, okay, okay. So... Okay, so in... So, this class, her default outfit, Mistral. The Japanese name for it is Storyteller. And if you're wondering like... Why Storyteller? Well, that's actually important to the identity of what Charlotte's, um... Based on. Like, you know, the fairy tale that she's based on. So, her default class is called Storyteller. Everything else is, you know, the same. Like, it doesn't matter from what class it is. Also, Charlotte's based on the Scientist class line, which is kind of obvious how she has Scientist, Item Meister, and Mimic. But her last one, ver, 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 virtuoso, um, in Japan, it's called Watch N. Yes, it's literally called Watch N. I don't know why it's called Watch N. Like, the closest thing I got from it when I Google search it is... Wait, hold on. Watch N. Yeah, I don't know what watch end is supposed to represent. I guess it's supposed to like connect to like Charlotte being like an observer and whatnot. Like I can't really talk about this riddle because this is like some complicated stuff and also I do need to 
It also requires a little bit of story context, which I can't really tell. And whatnot, but like, yeah, that's all I have to say, Rudo. Um, what do you about that? Uh, and then wait for a pull and turn her to logic immediately. <laughs> uh, I bet the pull was like either keep her a mimic or just change her immediately. I bet most people would do the keep the mimic. <laughs> but like, yeah, so we're gonna lock this one, Rudo. If you wanna know why, look at this, Rudo. Other than this, which is like really great, look at this, Rudo. Skill. Skill. Skill, skill, more skill, 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 and skill. This class is broken for a reason. <laughs> it's purely passive skills, other than these three, like, really good offense skills. Anyone know what else is broken about Aruto? Look at the weapons it can use. It can use guns. And this is why it's really good. It can use a gun. <laughs> so yeah, I wanna keep Charlotte in this one. And what else is there for me to talk about for this one? Um, oh yeah, the stat line for it's pretty decent. Because um, when you compare it to her other classes, this one is designed to be essentially the somewhat hard hitting, a little bit on the slow side class. You know, like it can tank to a degree, but it's a little bit on the slow side, but everything else about it is really good. And then, you know, you give it guns and then it just goes absolutely batshit crazy. And whatnot. But like, yeah, this is essentially Charlotte's end game class. Like, yes, you can literally just put her in this class. And that's all you need, Rudo. That's literally all you need. You don't need any other classes. You don't need to, you don't need any other classes maybe for their skills, but like the moment you unlock this one, she's gonna be in that class forever. <laughs> Charlotte get, gets to give the enemy skill issues, yep. <laughs> like is that good. Oh my god, look at this. She gets an iPad. <laughs> But like, yeah, we're gonna keep Charlotte in that. Um, Alice? Alice. You're gonna unlock Marshall so we can learn agility up, strength. I mean, sorry, um, first strike, Marshall skill. And then once I save up enough points, Rudo, we're gonna learn Rage Rush. And that's where things are gonna get really great. <laughs> but yeah, let's unlock this. I'm gonna keep you as a destroyer. Actually, let's keep you in swimsuit for now until I get you like fist weapons and then I'm gonna keep you in destroyer. Logic pad, good, it is. I love I like I like how the logic class they just get iPods, which is wait not I iPads, it's like great, I like it. And then we have Elsu. Okay, so Rudo, I was debating between Hercules or Weaver. The reason for that is because Weaver is this pure passive skill. So like, look at this, Rudo. Passive skill. Increase maximum HP. Auto defense. Attack up. Defense up. Tekka. Magic defense up. Luck boost. Resist all. SP limit up. <laughs> this one is good. This one's a pretty good one. I would say for Weaver, the good skills that you should get for it is um auto defense this one is really great because they're less because like you know you get the chance of um guarding automatically which is like really wonderful um attack up is good for like offense defense up is like for tanking this is if you want to make also a magic character then you should get this one but if you're not just ignore it magic defense is really important Rudo, because in finale a lot of the enemies can use magic now and it hits really hard because compared to the previous games enemies rarely use magic the only enemies that use magic is like bosses but even then they rarely use it 
but in finale everyone uses magic beetle everyone is magic <laughs> and oh boy it hits hard and whatnot but like yeah um luck boost is good if you want to make osu like your status effect user because um luck affects your chances of inflicting static effects on the enemy so if you're like oh i want osu to like inflict a ton of status effects and whatnot just get this one this one's also good for like tank reasons you know it increases your resistance to all elements and this is great because you know more sp the better and she can learn she can use all weapons which is wonderful the only downside to this class rudel is that i would say its stats isn't that great like it it kind of suffers from a case of having balanced stats and whatnot but it can use guns which is wonderful and then we have Hercules, which I always like using Rudo. Like, Hercules is honestly my favorite class for Osu. Other than, like, Sakura Maiden. Like, Sakura Maiden Osu looks awesome. I love it. Sakura Maiden... Sakura Maiden... Sorry, Sakura Maiden Osu is, like, amazing. But, yeah. Um, I always chose Hercules because of the high agility and luck. And because of these passives. I mean, these skills right here. Power Earth. May Stunt. Which is wonderful. Or Sleep Wind. May Sleep. Which is like decent, and also they work well with Osu's passive ability, where essentially if she hits an enemy's weakness with a single target attack, someone in the party would do a follow-up attack. So it's kind of like, um, you know, you remember Strange Journey, right? You, you remember how like follow-up attacks work in that game? It's essentially that. That's what Osu's like, um, not passive ability is her character skill that's literally her character skill she's just like oh i'm gonna be i, I have a demonica <laughs> so the moment she hits the enemy's weakness everyone in the party is like oh i'm gonna do a follow-up attack <laughs> and whatnot it's really good rudo like it's really game breaking <laughs> and whatnot so yeah we're gonna get these two and then this one's good too this one's really good and this is good too. So yeah, what do you want down Rudo? Um, Weaver's already also skill issue moment. Oh no, I have to be taking a page from Atlas <laughs> book then. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, um... So after thinking it a little hard, I think it's better for me to go to Hercules. Because I really want... The single target um wind and earth and also these skills right here which are gonna help me out in the long run also would weaver be like nightmares of a demonica yeah <laughs> she has a gun oh no <laughs> but yeah we're gonna unlock hercules i think the only downside to hercules i'm gonna be honest with you brutal is that it's slightly Wait, let me compare the attack stats. Okay, this one has the lowest. This one has the second lowest. This one is smack the middle. This one's the second highest, and this is the highest. All right. So Hercules is kind of like in the middle when it comes to like attack power, and also its defense is not that great, like at all. <laughs> so because of that, yeah, Hercules is essentially like smack at the middle, but still really good, brutal. Like the agility and luck will help you out in the long run. And mermaid, I already did you mermaid, so there's nothing for me to talk about. Sorry, mermaid. <laughs> so I'm just going to unlock some skills right now.
Oh yeah, I think I <laughs> think I'll probably sleep now and try to sleep the not good happen before my brain turns into the jail's latest folk memory free attempt. All right, Rudo. No problems. Thank you for like dropping by and like talking to me and everything. I hope you have a good rest and I'm sorry that you didn't have a good day today. But I hope things get better later and everything. That's it. Yeah. Wait, no! I forgot I was saving up for these. I wanted to get them. Fuck. Oh my god. I'm a dumbass, Rudo. Oh god, I forgot I was saving up for these. I just kind of wasted it. You know what? I'll probably learn these immediately once I get to like level 16. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> Um, before that, update regarding my chat with the AI Hamlin, but she and the OC ran away from um, Kamuro Cho and Ito unfamiliar er, territory. Well, oh, into unfamiliar territory. Oh no! <laughs> Man, these AI stories that you're doing, that you have, Rudo, is pretty interesting. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. For, for realsies. Okay, that seems. I'm in danger. I want to save up for more later. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is like Endure. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll get that later. But yeah. Oh, Charlotte. Bust this, Charlotte. Let's go. <laughs> Let's learn all of these skills. Let's just pick up every single one of them. Counter attack on damage by magic. I think I should get... Um, this one first, and then this one, this one, this one is like very useful. There we go. Then again, it's because wait. <laughs> then again, it's because she and the OC used the white cord, though it started small. AI Hamlin held it before it grew larger to wish for a new adventure. So I decided to start her and the OC out in a beach from the world of Fancy Star on Mighty New Genesis instead. Oh my God, that's wonderful. <laughs> God damn it. I need more. I need more blood. <laughs> I need more blood crystals. God damn it. Hold on. I need to pick the ones that I like. There. <laughs> I need more blood. <laughs> I want to grind now. <laughs> oh yeah. I want to look at this. Thank you for reminding me, Mary. Also this too. I should like max this out real quick. And then we're going to learn this. God damn, I don't have enough! Fuck! At least I unlocked it though. That's good enough for me.
All right, that's good. Wait a minute, I forgot something. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, Alice. I forgot. I didn't give you a weapon back. All right, there we go. Good as new. Wait, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Hold on, Charlotte. Can you use a gun? What kind of gun do we have for you? Musket. Yes. Oh wait, that was Mary's gun. Oops. Sorry, Charlotte. Mary? Let's blow shit up. <laughs> and then Charlotte, um, stone cannon? Yeah, stone cannon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Rudo. Look, it's 69 defense. It's the funny number. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what do you rub that? Well, humans can fight the frontier altars and dolls of Dynasty Star Online 2 New Genesis. Unlike the manhams of Mary Sculptor, JL's so technically wish granted. Yep. <laughs> 69. Nice. It, I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, I do need to give everyone new gear. From the blood farms because I feel like at this point I kind of need more firepower. Anyway, rest now. Later, music. No worries, Rudo. Have a good night. I hope your day will be fine later. Let's see. All right, Drew. Let's go. おい、こっちに怖がるぞ。本当にありましたわね。前やつは物だと思ってたけど、本当にわかるのね。僕が嘘をつく理由がないからな。さっさと破壊しよう。そうですね。いや、本当に破壊していいのかな、これ。何か理
ですわね目覚ましきなさい任せなさいこれは痛いわよひどいです、うん、えっ Can't do shit I think they're not laughing and I just. <laughs> well, I killed the boss quickly. Alright. There we go. Kill the minion. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> I hate this. It's not gonna do much. That's the sad thing. It's not gonna do much. Well, at least we killed it. Oh, yeah, everyone's like level 16. I forgot. It was because of the unknown effect. So yeah, apparently these these jail towers don't like it when we destroy the court. Like it's very different from the first two games where we learn that the jail of the first two games it actually likes its course getting destroyed. But in this game, the 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 jail towers of the surface they don't like it. So it kind of makes you go like, hmm, I wonder why. Oh, we need an opal key. Okay, so I do need the key in order to lock it. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Let us go to home base. There's only one new event. Got it. Okay, job changing. Let's go. Alright. Same case. Um, unlock fairy. Impede. Really pog skill. We need it. A lot. We need it a lot. Because of some of the abilities she could learn from it. These ones and the logic skills. Also, say best speed, that's like really great too. So, we're gonna put you back to Katie's sweater. We keep using guns. Kavia, I would say. Are we? 
to not play one. I mean, these are good. I don't want it. But I want to unlock this this one because of the huge amount of HP. I mean, this one's fine and dandy, I guess. I mean, like, in fact, it's like cool. But this one. Wait, what the? But I just did that. Oh yeah. Wait, I don't even know what that is. Hold on. Yeah, I'd rather just go to Blood Hunter. Yeah, Blood Hunter seems like the better option. I can still use guns as well because this one can't use guns. Everything else can. There's nothing much for me to like take from these. Increase agility, reduce physical damage taken. Yeah, I'd rather just do Blood Hunter. We're gonna keep you there. Cinderella Destroyer. Now we need fist weapons for you. And we're gonna learn some really good abilities right now. Charge. This is all we need. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, I need a expand. I forgot about this. Yeah, I need a grind. There we go. I don't think there's anything I want you to learn from here, Kaguya. I'd rather just have you learn these. Also that one too. So yeah, let's just make you learn this. Wait, no, no, no. Why did I press the wrong button? I hate myself. And then we're gonna make you burn those. There we go. Ah, oh, wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful. I love this. <laughs> Why do I even have these? Oh yeah, it was because random reasons. Let's get let's get This one simply means status effects, but I don't have any status effects that Red knows. So for now, we can just ignore it. This one's pop. Yeah, this one will save my ass later in the game. Um, for the time being, we're gonna learn these.
Yep, I need to grind for blood crystals for them. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. I can just go back to the beginner dungeon. And just, like, turn on the jail trials and just start grinding. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. No, Carla. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. The capture card. I accidentally bump onto it and I was like disconnected. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think I can fix it by just like plugging it in and re-plugging it in. I don't think it will work. So what I have to do is restart OBS. Yeah, I have to restart OBS. Alright. Alright. I'll be back. I'm so sorry.